Danny! Oh, I missed you. Oh, I missed you, too. Oh, Jason said I helped him a lot. I'm sure you did. <laughs> Thank you, Jason, so much for everything you've done for me and for Danny. All that matters is that you and the baby are safe now. Sounds like you and Jason had a good time while you were away. We did. We had to go a long way, though, all the way to Texas. But Jason bought me some magazines about motorcycles. Your favorites. We talked about the Phillies, yes, too. Yes, we oh, did talk best. about the Phillies. They're the best. Uh -huh. I taught Jason a lot about baseball. He hardly knew anything. Well, I'm glad oh. you could help him. Me, too. He's my friend. He's a very good friend. The best. Oh, I'm going to find my new lucky hat to show you. OK. <laughs> He looks great. You're taking better care of him than I did. No, the only thing he talked about was you. Well, I love him. Jason, I, and I'm just, I'm really grateful to you for keeping him safe. So did Rick try to get the confession thrown out? Oh, yeah. I mean, Alexis tore him apart. The judge accepted the confession as authentic and vacated the verdict. Good. I know it was a long time. I had to be hard waiting. I, was, I, I mean, it wasn't so bad. I actually had a lot of support. Even Carly helped me when she knew the baby was actually Sunny's. What? You don't know. Sunny, Sunny told Carly about the baby. Jason, they're fine with it. You are free. You don't have to worry about me and this baby anymore. I need to talk to Sunny. Where's Jason? He went home. Is he coming back? We were going to take apart an engine. Yeah, well, maybe some other time, Danny. No, today, Jason said. He's my friend. He wouldn't lie to I me. I know, I know you're right. He wouldn't lie, but Jason has his own life, and it's time that we moved on with ours. We're back. A lot happened while you were away, Jace. Yeah, I saw Sam. She told me about the hearing. Did she also tell you that, um, I know that Sonny is her baby's father? You lied. Did, did Sonny tell you why? Yeah, he told me <clears throat> why. I gotta go. I got some errands to work. Wait a minute. No, I gotta go. Fill me in on what you First, I need to ask you something. Yeah, go ahead. What? Carly's right. I don't lie, but I did for Michael, and it was killing me to keep a secret from everyone I care about. Why didn't you tell me what you were going to do? I had to tell Carly. She was on the verge of losing it. And if she found out that I'm, I'm the father of Sam's baby, it would have ruined You should have told me what you were going to do. Hey, you know what? I know you made sacrifices, and I apologize. But you weren't here, and I, I was never happy with what you were going to do in the first place. All right, I guess, you know what, this whole... I guess it was worth it if you and, and Carly are really okay. We're doing all right, you know? I mean, we're taking it day by day. She actually helped me out with Sam before the hearing. So all the secrets, they're out. Not all Every... of them, not all of them, no. Well, besides Sam's. I, I want you to tell me. Okay. She has a brother. Okay. He's, um... He's, he's, you know, slow mentally, and I've been keeping an eye on him. Why couldn't she tell me Sam this herself? Sam never told anybody about Danny at all. She didn't even know him until she met her mother. And it turns out Evelyn and her husband have been keeping Danny locked up in their house rather than dealing with this kid's disability. Her mother's been dead for years. Danny started the fire that killed her mother. It was an accident. But Sam was afraid that, you know, if the cops questioned Danny, he'd, he'd tell him the truth, and she couldn't take the risk. They'd institutionalize him. So Sam's been providing for her, her, her brother in secret for years? Right. You know, she wanted to get Danny to a point where he could function on his own in society. That's why she told you she was guilty to protect her brother? This kid's been through enough hell for one lifetime. If Rick ever found out about Danny, he'd break him. Look, Jason, you did everything you could for my family and, you know, you know how grateful I am. You found the inmate who, who confessed to setting the fire. Sam owes your life, my daughter does too. You don't need to thank Yeah, me. I do. 
You sacrificed your chance of getting Courtney back, which Courtney, I know Courtney that wasn't an easy thing. Courtney and I were thing. over long before this started, Sonny. Well, okay, but look, at least now you can uh, walk away from Sam clean, get your life back. Jace, hi. The guard let me in. I have to talk to you. Hey, son. Hey, what's wrong? Uh, I got business upstairs. You guys go ahead and talk. All right, thanks, okay, Sonny. Thank you. Tell me what you need. Yeah. Um, Rick's furious that Sam is going free. He had Lucky follow her to some motorcycle shop. And Lucky saw you there. Jace, he knows about Sam's brother, and he knows you were helping to hide him. Just tell me everything that Lucky said. You already know everything. Lucky said once Rick finds out, this could be really bad for you. <sighs> but at least it's good he came to you first. Yeah, I, know, I had to beg him not to go to Rick right away. You know, it was hard. Uh, Lucky's developed uh, feelings for me. You know, he, he's going against his oath as a police officer. I feel like I used him. I'm sorry that you're in this position. No, listen, Lucky will stall, but Rick's going to find out sooner or later. It's OK. I'm, I'm going to make sure everything's all right. All right. Just be careful. Thanks. Is Emily okay? Well, she had bad news. Well, you know, even though the, the charges against Sam had been dropped, Rick still going after her. Jason, my brother is doing great. My baby's not going to be born in jail. I owe it all to you, and I just, I don't know how to thank yeah, you. You don't have to keep thanking me. Yeah, I do. No one has ever been as good to me as you and Sonny have been, and you, you deserve a wonderful life. Goodbye, Jason. Sam. Don't go. 